Hello everybody, Savat the Mighty here, aka Doom Piggy, and I'm back with another Eve Echoes video. So this video, we're going to be doing a mission. Our fit for the mission is going to be our seven, or I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong ship, six C-type large beam lasers. I have a target painter. I'm going to be using two large group armor wrappers. These are basically here to top us off. I'm going to be trying to stay out of range of pretty much everything and see if this actually works. I have a Centum C-type heat sink. I have a C-type medium micro warp drive and three marketeer tracking computers. A laser collision accelerator 3. Laser burst aerator 3. Laser ambit extension 3. In here I have two regular semiconductor prototypes. Well, no, I don't actually have a capacitor control circuit. I need to get that replaced. And uh, one regular semiconductor memory cell. We're at a 698 DPS. Our range for most optimal is 70.65. We go up to uh, 96.8 something. <laughs> um, but that'll be at a 50% damage at about that time frame. We are going to be trying to stay pretty far back with this build. We really don't want anything to get next to us at all. We have no oh crap buttons, no anything on this build. And the mission we're going to be doing is Mega Corporation. I've already jumped out here to where the mission is located and we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, I don't think I've ever done this mission, even post-patch. So we're going to start by warping in at 100. And there's the only one station out here, so that is our deadline. We'll be going back to that if uh, we have any type of issues or trouble. Now this being a Kaldari tier 8 mission should be one of the better ones for lasers as they are normally shield tanks and uh, lasers work best versus shield tanks. Alright, we're going to lock up the little guys here first. There is quite a few of them. Nobody seems to be rushing in. switch up and hit him. I really don't want anybody uh, getting up on me. So one of the good things about this ship is it can fight from so far back. As long as we keep our distance we'll be able to warp out. Everything should be very very safe. At least I'm thinking. The only thing that we're really going to have to worry about is things like this Naga that has large weapons. And these large weapons might be able to reach out and touch us. Uh, the other thing that we might have to worry about is on some of the big waves where we have lots of tiny ships, our refire rate is actually slower than, well, most medium lasers would be. So if we were in the um, something like the Harbinger, it would be a lot easier to take out a ton of little ships. That really worries me from what I just saw here. I saw quite a few smaller ships. But, overall, I think this ship should perform quite well, and everything should be pretty easy. But we're going to find out today. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop. There ain't no reason for me to continue. We are 100 away. 100 away is a little over our optimal. As this being a tier 8 mission, I, I do a lot of tier 8 stuff with this ship. So I'm used to the speed at which it kills at these 
um, ranges, and it's it's not too bad. Obviously, you can do a whole lot more damage if I was to scooch in a little bit, but I really don't want to get too terribly close, not knowing the mission fully. Sitting 120 off, we do know 240 is the cutoff range for where the ship should stop losing aggro on us if I do need to go out that way. Hopefully not, though. Uh, let's go ahead and kill the Moa next. Take out a bit more of the squishier targets, then we'll worry about that Naga last. When the next wave spawns, I will go ahead and start up the micro warp drive and we'll start moving away. I'm not sure how many waves this mission is. Uh, with these storyline missions, normally it's four. Sometimes it's five. And so if we have five waves in this mission, well, I might be unprepared for that. <laughs> but we'll see. We're just going to take it one wave at a time. Wave one is always extremely easy. Wave two is usually very easy as well. All right, I am going to go ahead and turn this on. This guy's getting at 89. I don't know when he's going to start being able to hit me, but I'd rather stay out of range if I can. Not bad. I did have an option of putting another tracking computer on here. It would get me roughly two more km of optimal range and um, a slightly additional fall off. I decided not to go with that because the increased damage should help clear this out a lot faster from these ranges. So by putting on the one heat sink, hopefully it'll be better than having the little bit of extra range. I'm hoping that tiny bit of extra range isn't going to matter in the end. And this will be able to clear this out relatively quickly. So I thought this guy was coming in quicker than he actually was. I was going at my full speed and he was showing at 87, but maybe it was just my own mind playing tricks on me because he doesn't seem to be approaching very quickly at all right now. A few more shots and he should be destroyed. One more shot should do it. Let's go ahead and turn our engines back on. Alright, they're all pretty far away. You first. Got him. Guy is moving fast. at 140 out, I don't think we're going to be able to hit him much there. We'll wait until he gets to the 20s, and we'll continue picking up where we left off. Oh, 
Okay, apparently he doesn't want to come to the 20s, so let's see if we can get some damage on him. Well, that woke him up. Now he's coming over there towards us. How far away from the, the Cosmic Anomaly are we? 147? I think we're relatively safe here. So wave two, no elites. And it looks like a relatively small number of ships as well. This guy doesn't want to mess with us, that condor. He's just out there. Let's do this. Let's approach the middle. Let's lock up our other two buddies. Couple of good shots there. And that should be the end of our condor friend. Oh, I'm sorry, the caracal. Now we'll work on the MOA. One twenty Alright, so I got my facing done. Well, wave one and two is uh, pretty simple. If this is all that it was, then I don't see why this mission would be T8. Just fire off some lasers in their general direction. This one's probably not going to hit. I did go ahead and stop the engine so they can catch up a little bit, hopefully. are on cooldown. Wait a little bit of time here just to get some of our range back. Once our cooldown is off, I will continue firing.
Okay. I'm still much closer to this anomaly than I would like to be. Alright, excellent. We were able to get at least one more shot off with the damage amplifier up. I'm sorry, the heat sink. Huh. Sometimes I've noticed the animation on these gets a little mixed up. Got him. All right. Lot of oh my gosh I don't know why this has been happening so much lately ever since I did this new update I've been having it to where it just errors out all the time never had this problem before but that's gonna get me killed someday if that keeps happening so I don't know what they did with this update but it doesn't like my emulator anymore Drive active. Oh, that's so frustrating. Just lock up two of them for now. I guess one of the pros to doing things like this is, uh, well, you're way out here, so if you have to warp back in, you're not in the middle of everything. I don't see any elites this wave either. So that's actually a bit concerning. So that probably means there are five waves. And I would say that because if we haven't seen our first elite yet, then we're getting two waves of elites. Game's not going to be that nice to us. We got our first tick of money. Ah, oh, I didn't hit it in time, so that was a waste of a shot. stop here for now.
keep an eye on the rest of these guys. Blackbird is uh, probably the one who's doing all of this stuff, which really doesn't matter for us. Yep, it's gone now. Let's go ahead and lock up the rest. wonder what this contour is doing. Wow, even with the uh, lasers at that 118, we got a glancing blow. That wasn't fun at all. 341! Here we go. really don't want to get much closer than what we are. We are nowhere near our range to be safe if we... if things get south, we're gonna have to actually warp. But that's fine. The next time I come back and actually do this mission, I'll be able to have more of an idea of what's happening and how many ships there are and if I can sit at these ranges and be safe. Let's hit that. I'm getting some pretty decent hits. So this Drake is, a, it's pretty excited to see us. He's coming over here. I think the uh, Condor might just be orbiting that Drake. It's alright though. That Drake can continue to come at us. Hopefully we'll stay outside of his missile range. Oh, I hit that way too early. Well, let's see if we're going to manage to actually get another hit on this guy. I don't think so. Nope. 420. All right. Get spun around. And let's actually just move a little bit. Nope, let's not move a little bit. This guy is not moving at all. Wow. He's actually moving away from us. He wants to pull us back to the start. Sorry, buddy. I don't want to be back at the start. I will take reduced damage.
31. Yeah, he is just going way away. He's like, no! Alright, let's turn that on. Let's make sure we are approaching this. Lock, lock, lock. You first. This guy's second. Slow down a little bit. We don't need you shooting off. Okay. We can unlock you. actually stop completely. So we do have an elite this way. And they are coming towards us, so that's good. Let's relock you. Start playing with the damage. We have an elite Naga. Just barely didn't kill that one, so now we're gonna have to do another pass. All right, we got a bunch that are in the twenties. I think we're okay, though. And they are not approaching very quickly at all. down. Two down. Three down. Okay, everything seems to be going great. We're going to get rid of this elite caracal next. He's at 105. We're going to continue to shoot and just see if we can get any type of damage on him since we have our damage boost going. Nah. Those two guys are going to try to sneak up on us. Okay. 
do see that the Nog is closer. But I would rather get rid of these guys, because if for any reason I forget about them, they're gonna they're gonna cause lots of issues. Now we're gonna go after the Naga. And the Naga is actually starting to get within my 50% uh, damage range. So, let's give him some ample damage. Alright, I can start locking up some of these other guys too. at about 50% power. Well, that's 63. Just because I don't want that Naga getting in range. If that Naga does get in range, he uh, might be able to apply a little bit of damage to me. that guy real quick. We do have an elite MOA left. But that's it. The elite MOA is what is approaching us currently. Uh, let's do some more damage for the MOA. Oh. I don't think I showed yet, but this thing is at 902 damage when it's hot. Not the fanciest in the world, but it gets the job done. Looks like the MOA doesn't uh, like being this close to us and is trying to back off now. It's times like this that we have to watch the other guys to make sure they're not creeping up on us. At 108 it's going to be hard to hit, but it is possible. 391 ain't exactly going to kill him though. Excellent. So we still do have two uh, battle cruisers. Let's work on this caracal first. dead. Wow, we got a pretty nice hit. That was at 100 out. OK. 
Okay. Wish those guys would uh, approach a little quicker than they are. Let's start on the MOA. MOA 2 is going down pretty quickly, but now we're getting into his armor. guys are still hanging out right outside of my range and don't want to come forward. I could probably move towards them some. Try to close a little bit of distance. Okay. Realigned with the station. Let's go ahead and sit sit tight for a little while. We are at our 50% range, so we still should hit uh, hit pretty effectively, just doing about half damage. So I'm okay with that. Well, we whiffed that shot now, didn't we? Still getting glancing blows. Hmm. With the shields gone, the armor the armor on these guys is much weaker. Still, it's harder for me to get through the armor, but they don't have nearly as much as uh, a lot of the other ships do. I always wonder what happens. Like, did you miss the armor and hit pull? <laughs> I, I hate when that happens. I can't explain it. Probably somebody smarter than me will be able to leak, leave a, a comment or something and let me know what's going on there. Alright, let's approach at full speed. Pick the wrong target again. Let's give ourselves some damage here too. Let's lock on to the two elites. Oh, 
All right. Three elites. Alright, buddy. We're not gonna fire into that shield. Man, that stays up for quite some time. Away. We really need to take care of them quickly. Alright, he's within range of our 50%, so we should be fine here even without these. I am watching this other elite that have popped up on our radar. Excellent. Next up is this guy. He's not moving nearly as fast. We can go ahead and stop now. I think we're relatively safe. Let them catch up a bit. two blackbirds and they're approaching the 100 km mark. They are very slow though. We do have an elite drake I'm seeing on the screen now and our other elite disappeared off the screen. So we're sitting pretty far away from these guys. Again, I don't foresee anything bad happening. We were able to clean up uh, all of the fast guys pretty, pretty quickly without any type of bother, so I think the rest of this wave is just going to be clean up. There is quite a bit of them, but I'm just being very cautious to watch and make sure none of these elites are going to get within a lock range and decide that they want to go ham. Blackbird is at 92. All right, that was a one shot. <laughs> This guy should also be a one-shot. Goodbye. I've taken out some of the smaller ships. Uh, they're basically given the, uh, the pack there a lot of bloat. Small ships at that speed, they're literally just wasting shots. Alright, we do have that elite that popped back up on our radar.
probably started that a bit too early. I don't know if it's going to make it around to the, the next one. Oh, come on, hurry up. We did it. We did it, boys. Okay, let's take out this Elite Drake. Keeping an eye on the other ships as well. I will switch off of the Elite Drake if I do see anything else that poses a threat of being a quicker ship coming up on us. That was a nice hit on the Elite. Did that thing again. Alright, we have an elite condor coming in. I'm way more concerned with this elite condor. So I'm actually going to lock him up. And we'll get a few shots into the drake right now. But this is my big concern right here. You can stop for a second. We're going to refocus on this guy. Let's hit all of those and lay some damage into him. And back to our buddy Drake. Okay, so he should start beginning in range of his missiles if he has long-range miss missiles very shortly. We have that Korak C that's also crossed the 100 threshold, but it's not moving fast at all, so I'm not concerned. I'm not activating my my range extenders here because I, I don't need to currently. I'm going to save those for some of the further ships. Get their cooldowns all kind of synced up a little bit. We do have another Condor. actually switch over to the Condor. Alright. We do have an Elite MOA, which is the first, and the rest of these guys are just regular ships. Uh, let's activate our damage and see if we can... Oh. Apparently I did it uh, too late again. I always have trouble doing that. Get some damage in on the MOA. So again... I always lose track of the waves, so I don't know if there is another wave or not. But I can definitely say, so far, this has been relatively very, very easy.
Looks like that MOA is doing the same thing all the MOAs like to do, and that is run away. For some reason, they do not like to sit still. Once they start getting shot, they're like, hey, bye! But none of the other ships are really moving either. So we'll take him out. He's definitely too far away for me to hit without, uh... Man, I keep forgetting the names of those. Tracking computers. <sighs> okay, Elite Mo is gone. feeling a little braver than normal, so I'm going to go ahead and start moving towards these guys. was a big shot. Okay. This looks like everyone, so I should be able to sit down right here, post up, pick them off as they come to me. They're still a little far out of my optimal range, but they'll get into it. And at this particular point, well, it's all about just sitting back, relaxing, having some cocoa. Or eggnog, or whatever. We'll work on speeding this up in a second. Combat music even stopped. I think it knows. It's like, you guys are doomed. <laughs> There's nothing you're going to be able to do at this point. This isn't even combat. This is just like shooting fish in a barrel. No. Oh. It decided to delight us with some more combat music. A 6,000 hit on a Drake. That I don't really understand, because that Drake should have more armor... I mean, more armor, res more shield resistance than the rest of them. I believe that gets like 4% per level, so unless it's unskilled. So that makes me believe that rats don't actually work that way. As far as I understand it, the rat ships do share the actual resistance profiles with their regular based version but I don't think they have any of their skill traits. Because that Naga shouldn't be as tanky, or shouldn't be harder to kill than the Drake. The Drake should actually be harder to kill, in my opinion. But that Naga actually seemed to take more damage than this Drake is. Oh, 
All right. We're down to a couple of MOAs. Not bad. One Moa left. I'm 192 off. Let's approach just in case there's another wave. There is not. All right. So that was easy. We didn't even take a point of damage. I guess you could say it was a flawless victory. We just sat outside of range, we fought, the entire combat itself, with my little intro, did take about 57 minutes and 32 seconds with this ship, so under an hour to actually get the combat portion done. There was travel time, the travel time was about 10 minutes because I'm based out of uh, Jita, basically, and this is a Kaldari mission, so there was not that many jumps, about 7 I believe, maybe a little more. Yeah, because I think I had to jump to one area, speak to somebody, and then jump again. So there might have been 12 jumps. Again, most of it was through high sec, so with the new 100% speed bonus in high sec, that was fairly quick. We're going to come grab this Elite Battle Cruiser loot and see what type of goodies they decided to bless us with. Debris. Fantastic. Chances of debris dropping are lower. Unless it's your elite ship, then it's going to be increased. We got an interruptive stasis webifier. So this is actually pretty interesting. On this mission, it looked like uh, there's not nearly as much loot as I'm used to. Far less, so that means there's less ships overall. We got more debris. Oh, it looks like the loot from this mission is going to be quite lovely. Buckets of trash. But, we're sitting at about an hour now. There is still going to be more to this mission a little bit. Mm, five and a half million in bounties alone. What is going on? I have no clue what is happening here. I see what's happening here. My screen was getting pulled down. I'm 
More webifiers. More loot. I got about 14 days left and my ship will be done with, or my skill will be done and I'm going to get a 5% damage increase and as well as a 10% energy consumption of the large lasers. That's going to be awesome. As well as I think I'm going to end up getting a little bit of a bigger power grid out of it as well. Then it's going to be back to training up some large lasers. I do believe uh, once I get some of these large laser skills, the, the advanced skills to five and can go to the expert, this thing will start putting out some serious damage. That is one of the things that I can't stress enough whenever you're watching my videos. I did not respect my skills or save up skill points for tier 8. So all of these large laser skills are being trained. So there is still a lot of room for improvement on my ships. So if you do respec, or if you did have a bunch of skills saved up that you were just waiting for, you can get the large laser skills and the other pertinent skills to running this ship and probably be doing a good, I don't know, 30 to 50% more damage than I am. Even using the same build. Can't quite look at the builds right now. We're blocked off by our mission core. The rest of this loot is, uh, go that way. So what I'm doing here is it's actually going to be easier to warp to the loot than to go over there and get it. I believe it's 120 when I can warp to it. Okay. Maybe 150? Well, if it was 150, it uh, might have been easier just to go over there. There we go. So yeah, in that case, I think it would have actually just been easier to, to fly over to it since we have the micro warp drive. Warp drive active. Probably about the same in either case.
All right. Now we get to go six jumps. Warp drive active. Six jumps and scan. So it says we have 62 million in loot. Well, I can tell you one, that's not true because I'm carrying some plasmoids here. And two, even if the plasmoids weren't in there, an interruptive warp disruptor? Yeah, 650,000. Basic Guidance, 200,000. Magnetic Warp Field Stabilizer, 375,000. Lone Ranger, 250,000. Eight hundred ninety thousand for the Canyon Medium Shield. Two seventy five apiece. About seven hundred thousand there. Four hundred and ninety thousand. Warp drive active. All right. So I would estimate this at being four million, maybe five million in loot, somewhere between that range. Which won't be bad, plus you get the 30 million for it. Again, I'm sitting at one hour and eight minutes. And this doesn't include about 12, 13 jumps in the beginning. This plus 100% warp speed jumping, though, it is very, very nice. One jump remaining. Naya Benin. Warp drive active. Naya Benin and 1.0. However you say that. <laughs> We're currently in Yurlean. Yurlean. I don't understand why we have to scan something. Maybe I should actually read these uh, missions and find out, because we're scanning something in 1.0 space. It's like, really? That's like the safest space there is. Sure, scan it up. Couldn't find the spy signal. That name was expecting. But there was a curious ripple of light, brief and beautiful, like the flash of a distant meteor. Alright. There's our 28,500,000 after my corporation tax. So that does complete this mission. And it puts me four jumps away from my home base. 
So I'm going to go ahead and head back. But that's the mission. So Mega Corporation completed without taking a point of damage. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Watching. If you liked the content, please go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoyed everything. And I will see you next time. Bye.